This is the option now being turned to in the search for wreckage and the black box of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, the Bluefin 21 unmanned submersible. Why now? Searchers were hoping to narrow in on the location of the black box using ping detecting equipment, which had been picking up signals authorities felt confident were coming from the missing plane. But after days of no further success, they now assume the black box's pinger battery has run out, leaving them with a 500 square mile search area. So the Bluefin 21, provided by the U.S. Navy, is now in action. How does it operate? The Bluefin 21 takes two hours to reach the bottom of the ocean, which is estimated to be as much as three miles deep. There it can work for 16 hours, moving at a walking pace before returning to the surface. Once it's hauled back on the Australian Navy ship Ocean Shield, its data are downloaded and analyzed for about four hours, then back into the water it goes. What are its capabilities? The Bluefin 21 uses side scan sonar to map the ocean floor, producing a three-dimensional map of the seabed, but it takes six times longer to cover the same area than a ping locator. If the Bluefin spots something unusual, the side sonar would be swapped out for a high-grade underwater camera. This underwater vehicle can only be equipped with one system at a time. What happens if it locates the black box? Other robotic equipment will be used to haul it to the surface and to try to recover other parts of the plane that would help in the investigation. How long will it take to locate Flight 370? No one knows for sure, but it will take six weeks to two months to canvas the current underwater zone. Bluefin 21's success in this mission is not assured.